This is the long dark day four of four days of night. Yes, I'm a bit late with the stream. I was supposed to stream for like, I was supposed to start a couple of hours ago, but then stuff happened. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be, oof, it's gonna be a bit boring probably, but oh well, let's, um, let's see how we, um, <clears throat> How well we will fare. And, uh, yeah. Let's make this happen. I think it's gonna be good, but it's gonna be cold, I guess. I bet. What? Day four the cold embrace. Yeah, I'm waiting. So the air temperature in here is minus 18. I'm doing good. But I, I bet it's going to be it's going to be increasingly cold or, or is it just going to be like this? Because then I'm good. I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> so this is gonna be yeah I'm, uh, I'm kind of relying on people talking to me uh, not to keep me entertained but I guess oh, to keep me from losing my mind because this is gonna be boring otherwise <clears throat> I felt like I had to stream this since uh, since I did stream the the, um, the three days before, so I think I have to follow through on this. One hour and fifty nine minutes. Don't stray too far from your fire, or else survive at least two real time hours to make progress towards four days of night rewards. I still haven't got a weapon or anything like that, so. It might be exciting to try and go out outside, actually. Just because. Just for the hell of it, you know. Wait, what? I thought I... Oh, wait. Yeah, of course. It won't recharge if it there's if there's no Aurora. That's cool. Cool? No, not cool. At all. Sweet. Okay. I kind of just want to check the temperature outside. How bad it is. How bad is it? How much am I carrying though? Yeah, I'm not overweight yet, so. Let's see, huh? How cold is it? Just want to check for fun. Are the wolves gone? Or is it like, has anything changed in that regard? Well, it doesn't seem like much has happened yet. Don't know what to make of this, to be quite honest. It's probably, I hope it's going to get colder because otherwise this will be pretty boring. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. We are activating, oh my goodness, we are activating cold weather. Look at, look at, it's dropping really fast. Okay, so now it's minus 23 and the wind chill is actually really giving it the edge it needs. Oh my god, look at my temperature falling. Oh goodness, it's going down fast. I can see why people die in this weather really fast. So... I'm not gonna sit around and wait to die. I'm still, I'm still holding a decent temperature inside, so no rush. 
I'm not gonna rush into lighting lighting uh, a fire just yet if I don't need to so feels like four degrees we're doing good I was hoping for more like just for for it to be more exciting I was hoping for more like maybe minus 50 or something minus 40 no no can I start a fire I hope not where I hope I I hope it's not gonna start a fire if it does, I'm screwed. I wasn't supposed to throw it. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> hey, Philip, how you doing? Fuck! I I threw a torch inside, and now it's stuck behind the bed. I can't reach it, so I guess that's where I'm at right now. Doing good on temperature still. I'm not gonna do anything about. I'm not gonna light a fire until I absolutely have to, so... Yeah, well, what I will do is... Okay, my stuff is all ready. Just from going outside, uh, just for a little bit, my clothes actually got wet already, so... How did that actually happen? <laughs> Still fine on the temperature side of things. Do I need to fix my clothes? Yes, yeah, some of them. Oh my god. Yes, I do. No, I don't think I should start spending time on anything. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, thanks. Um, you started a new game? Like a regular game, or...? <gasps> oh no, you started you started a new game on day four? So you started... No, you started on Coastal Highway on day four. Oh my goodness, that's gotta be really cold. So maybe you can try... <laughs> maybe you can try to reach... Uh reach the end of day four even though you didn't make it through day three i guess that's crazy that is actually crazy okay it seems like the temperature is staying quite stable so yeah still doing good I think it's maybe it's pretty risky to spend any time doing anything. Like unless I know that I'm gonna be fine. What? No, you made it to 40 minutes left. Seriously, that is insane. So, are you still playing right now? Like, are you still sort of... Are you still struggling with this? Oh god. Yikes. I don't mean to bum you out or anything, but it sounds like... Uh, oof. Sounds like you're gonna die. <laughs> but, um. Oh, thanks. Thanks for stopping by, even though you're struggling for your life. It's not that much to watch, actually. You can see it's just like. This was a bit underwhelming. I thought it was going to be much colder inside, but it's not, so. Yeah, I guess I'm just a little bit, like... Well, but I do hope it's gonna catch up, though. The bite still, so... <laughs> yeah, it's only a game, but... It's still too bad that you, um... Uh, 
Too bad that you have to start day four like that over again. <sighs> I was thinking about streaming a movie in the background, but I read online that that's not loud. That is not. That is against the regulations, so. Yeah, I do have a lot of clothing, so I have a great temperature bonus. I don't have any need to light a fire right now. Um, so, unless it gets colder, I guess I didn't need all that wood, but I, get it. I guess it was. I think I could, yeah. I think it's fine. I'm gonna check if I can sleep without it being any trouble. Let's see, bed. I think it's fine. Yeah, so you, you do keep your clothing on, of course. I think. Because you still get the temperature bonus, so. Still feels okay, though. <laughs> I don't know how, how I ended up in this very ideal but boring situation. Nothing's happening, it's just like, okay. So the only time I'll actually have to light a fire is when I need to uh, uh, make some more water, but I guess, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, I was, I was thinking about streaming a movie in the background because this is so boring for two hours, you know. I was thinking about putting on a movie or something, but I read online that it's not, that it's against Twitch regulations and also copyright. Uh, laws to um, even the sound of a movie in the background would be against the regulations I think because it's not part of the gaming you know it's not a part of uh, the theme of the stream I guess so no movie for us because I thought it would be like at least a bit more entertaining for me and for people watching because <laughs> this is just spending time inside inside the house oh god the time is time is moving so slow that I could not stream this you know so I guess this is gonna be like just chatting <laughs> we are chatting right sprain risk yeah because I'm reading books I am going to read books What would actually make this more interesting is uh, if I got food poisoning or something. I am actually rooting to get sick right now because that would make it more interesting. Since it's so boring. Why am I eating? I'm not even hungry. It's like, oh, I need to fill all my needs right now. <laughs> oh, God. I should have I should have classified this stream as sort of like a chat uh, a chat stream because that's mainly what we're doing and I guess the um, the gaming feels like it's secondary. What's the most, what's bumming me out the most about this is uh, doing stuff and spending time doing stuff doesn't help since I have to spend two real time hours. It's just like, yeah, even if I do stuff in the game that spends time, it's not gonna be the same. It's still gonna be, ooh. <laughs> just gonna check the temperature outside. How bad is it? Still, it's not that bad. But when I catch the wind, probably it will be worse. Let's catch some wind! Well, feels like... 
not even minus 10 degrees. But the wind chill is catching on quite fast. So if you're caught outside, this would be a bad situation for you. A really bad situation. It's fine for me since I'm I'm doing this just because I'm bored. Hey yo! <laughs> I'm bored. Let's go inside before we before we freeze to death. Because this is really cold. But um I can totally see why people die on the fourth day. Jesus, I'm still doing quite fine. Uh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, no wolves. So it's like, <laughs> just staying inside. Uh, <sighs> Seeing inside, being bored. I need to drop my stuff soon, though. I need to drop the stuff that is wet because it feels weird wearing wet clothes, to be quite honest. But it's probably gonna get colder now. Yes, it did. Let's light a fire. I did want to wait a while before I did this, but I feel like it's weird not to do it at this point. Oh well. Might as well use an <laughs> accelerator. Nine hours, we should be good. Let these uh, dry off. Yeah, so. Yeah, look at the lights, those are really cool. That's nice. What's in here? Oh, more food. And more firewood. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm all set for the blizzard. Yeah. I did have some stuff I wanted to fix though. Yes, I want to fix this. So I have to... I have to, um... Resist the urge to, to like, fast for time because that doesn't help. That actually makes this challenge a bit harder, I think. If I fast forward with time, it's gonna be... It's gonna be uh, a smaller chance of success, I think. So... I still have to spend two hours doing this. Those aren't wet anymore. Sweet. So all my stuff is dry. Nice and dry. And there, we are suddenly way too warm. <clears throat> hey Einstein <laughs> um, yeah I've been live for the past three days but it's uh, yeah I've been playing this this uh, challenge thing and, um, it's not at this point, it's not that exciting. I wish you could see. Um, I wish you could see me on day two and day three. They were the most interesting. Stuff happened. Stuff went down. Oh, okay, it's too bad because I have been streaming. Like, yeah, not too much though. I have been streaming maybe like two and th two or three hours uh, 
for the past three days, and this is the fourth day of this event. But this time, I will only stream for the two hours that I need to finish this challenge. And now it's one hour and 41 minutes left, so. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I hate going to bed early, and I hate get getting up early <laughs> in the morning, too. Luckily, I have a job that makes... It's like... it's uh, it, it varies how, how late I have to... How early I have to get up, so it's not always super early. to fix this. Hmm, that's nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I do that too, only I do it I just as well might do it um, during the week times as during the weekends. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I, um, since I work, I work like every other weekend, so sometimes I have to go out, go out drinking during the weekdays. It's not, it's not that much, not that much, uh, yeah, I know, I have double air wraps. It's insane. Look, look how packed she is. It's like, I have the best, and it's just the warmest stuff. It's not like necessarily the most wind resistant or because I'm thinking like warmth is king so here I have like the best fucking moose hide cloak and this fucking sweater is the warmest sweater uh, like anywhere and the wool long johns the best uh, underwear um, air wraps yes I am packed it actually at this point I don't even need the fire so when it goes out I could probably just leave it <laughs> yeah it's probably really sweaty though because it looks like, it feels like 32 degrees she must be sweating that's not good uh, that's not good at all if you're uh, spending a lot of time in uh, below zero temperatures Yeah, I didn't think about that. Two Germans. Just <laughs> just keep uh, just keep the German to a minimum because I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand very much German, but some of it, of course, but Ha lol. <laughs> yeah, so the air wraps must make uh Make the hearing probably a bit worse. I'm guessing. Probably. Okay, so I keep bouncing back and forth between. Mein Luftkissen boot ist voller alle 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 <laughs> Mein Luftkissen boot ist I I can't <laughs> I'm trying to understand <laughs> Oh yeah, that I understood. What is it with you? Uh, what's going on in your head? Oh, it's from the meaning of life? What? 
Really, I don't, I don't uh, remember that part. That's funny. My hovercraft is full of eels. Lol. <laughs> so saying that to someone, uh, like out of context, would probably be like, "What do you say?" <laughs> German sink? What? Oh, I don't I don't think I've ever seen that sketch actually. Uh, but it sounds really funny though. <laughs> but I, I love Monty Python. They are the best. It's um they've got so much uh, so much funny material. Even if the fire do does go out, I think I'll be fine. Let's, let's see. Are you confusion, Einstein? <laughs> Einstein. <laughs> that sounds like an insult. Yes, of course, Einstein. Nothing is happening. I want to light another fire. Oh, I'm out of tinder, but I know I have some more in my drawers. What is my drawers? <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> three potatoes. Yes, too many potatoes in this goddamn chat. Sick and tired of this motherfucking potatoes in this motherfucking chat. Tinder, where's my Tinder? My kingdom for some Tinder. There we go. Transfer all of them. Yeah. What? Just from transferring Tinder, you suddenly became like, oh, super overreach. <laughs> What? Did she suddenly become like what? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Terrible, just terrible. I don't know why I'm starting with the reclaimed wood. I just feel like I feel like I want to use the crappy wood first. Okay, okay, let's go outside into the cold again. I just want to feel something i just want to feel alive you know you know you know the feeling right just i want to feel something wait what are we okay i want to refill this if i can i just want to feel something anything just let me experience like almost dying I'm not gonna go far because if I lose my way, I'm gonna be fucked. Yeah, that is not gonna happen. I don't have any stuff with me either, so. Oh god, I don't have to go that far actually to not see. Yeah, so from here I can't see. I actually can't see the, the cabin. This is scary. This is truly scary. So getting caught out, out here in the storm? That is a uh, death sentence right there.
you can see nothing. It's like in this direction, nothing. I don't know, is that the lake? Yes, it is, but I can't see it. And over here, it's supposed to be the railway. So you can kind of see, you can kind of see the wire that's going from this end. So you could follow that. Just sort of find your way, but this is scary. <gasps> Look how fast my temperature is going down. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it dropping. It is dropping so fast. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Oh god. This is terrifying. If I weren't in this situation. I'm good. <laughs> totally good. Yeah, we're doing fine. Just uh, try to live a little dangerously, even though it's not that dangerous. Actually, I'm in full control of the situation, and that's what makes it so boring. Yikes. So how much is left? Oh my goodness, I'm only one, I'm only one quarter way through. I'm only a quarter way through. Oh god. Should I take a journey outside? Like, take like a proper journey, go through, <laughs> just risk my life to make it interesting, <laughs> but risk dying. Um, that's not a that's not a good idea. But <sighs> I do feel like I want to do that. <laughs> That would be funny though. Getting caught outside in the storm, right? Wow, the lantern is really lighting up the whole fucking room. How is that possible? It seems excessive. Jesus. Let's do some reading. Yikes. breathing. Not that it's uh, gonna make a difference, but I think I already started like field dressing. Yes, I did. Woohoo! Oh no, I'm gonna get thirsty. Did you die? No. Did you die just now? Or, uh. That is such a bummer. upsetting. That's too bad. But you were in a really tough uh, situation. I don't think it could have gone any differently though. Yeah. Yeah, but like you said, foraging for food and uh, wood is impossible in this kind of temperature. And say, did you actually start uh, did you start like fresh 
like with no almost no good clothing at all. Yeah. if anyone is uh yes you died yesterday and then yeah, I guess you had to start a new character today just so you're kind of thrown into it oh god that's impossible but but yeah try try again why not you know you have nothing to lose uh if you try try a new character um see how that goes you know, doesn't matter since you've already been through it. It would be really cool. It would be such a big deal if you made it from like starting day four fresh and making it through uh, the two hours. That would be insane. That would be so. That would be so cool. So uh, I would I would actually be more impressed if you made if you made that jump. And if you manage to do that, I would be super impressed. Uh, let's do some more reading. Uh. Wait, oh, I did the book. I guess I'm done with the book. Don't have a fire anymore, but then I don't have to. Yeah, the temperature's fine. Morning. A bonus I got a I leveled up in something don't know what it was but it was something so I haven't I haven't focused on this at all god I missed this game Oof. I miss having those I miss having those uh, gameplays where you start a character and you plan it like the shit out of it it's like I'm gonna survive for 500 days I'm gonna be like, what in the face of nature? Like uh, harvesting all the stuff you need from nature and just killing animals, skinning them and making like every piece of clothing out of animal skins, it's so cool. I had I had a character like that once. It was in stalker, uh, stalker mode. Uh, so it was quite difficult. It was quite challenging, even though it wasn't like as bad as interloper, of course, but still made myself a base and then i went i just traveled all over it was so much fun traveled through all the regions uh i think i made it to 70 days or something and my character was so buff my character was like oh the survivor like uh scaring wolves away with the uh wolf wolf skin clothes it was so awesome just approaching wolves would make them run away and I actually like it came to a point where I actually attacked I engaged with every wolf I saw I was like just charging at them just fighting every fucking wolf it became like that and I remember the most challenging part of it was actually um, finding my way to a furnace or I mean to a forge and then make the stuff that you need to make uh, like to make uh, arrowheads and uh, to make your own axe from scratch uh, 
And finding a heavy hammer, that was like the worst part. I could never find a fucking heavy hammer, but that was... Uh, like sometimes it would be lying uh, by, the, by the forge, so it wasn't necessarily that big of a deal, but... I do remember like that one gameplay, I really made it far. I had like a regular trip to Forlorn Muskeg where I would smell things and uh, bring back tools and then I would just keep surviving in Mystery Lake. It was so much fun. Just surviving on the fruits of nature. Dreamcatcher. I have one of those. Doesn't look quite as simple as that, but I do feel like it's working now. I don't know if it is, but it feels like it. Let's start a fire again. I think I've, uh, yeah, I think I, uh, I think I read those out, so might as well use them for fuel. Sorry about that. Blah. Just wanna, yeah. I just wanna go back outside just to see what's going on. Hey, how cold is it now? Hello. I do really just feel like exploring just a little bit, even though it's super dangerous. If I just follow this line, I should be good, right? So what if they change? Whoops. So this is where the railroad starts. Wow, it's like you can see nothing. Imagine being caught out in this weather. You know. I'm not doing that. This was fun though. And here we have home sweet home. And that was that. Not that exciting. It's like, oh, a monster, a monster blizzard has arrived. Don't stray too far from your fire, or else survive at least two real-time hours to make progress. Yeah, but it could have been a bit more cold, though. I think it could have been colder. This was just really. <sighs> Not very exciting. Hold on. I'm just uh yeah, hold on for a little bit. I'm just gonna get myself something to drink.
Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> How much time is left? Mm-hmm. If you can keep... No. Yeah. Do this. Let's do some more reading. Changes nothing, but okay. Still going strong. So, uh, <clears throat> has anybody seen any good movies lately? Something to recommend? Or... I'll talk about... I'll talk about just about anything right now. Did I read this? I guess. Nope. Ooh, Outer Worlds. Uh, you know, that's a coincidence. Uh, that's a coincidence, uh, Philip. My, uh, my, uh, my boyfriend is actually playing 
Outer Worlds right now. He's so excited about it. It's just, it's like, it's like, it's just like Fallout. I don't know. Uh, he said that the same developers that made Fallout made Outer Worlds, I guess. It's good. I need, I need another opinion on it before I invest, you know. But he thinks it's really good, I think. played Fallout for for like 20 or 30 hours. I didn't, I haven't fully committed to it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so but do you like Outer Worlds? Is it, does it work? Or, because I guess it's just because it just came out or something? Or it's new, right? Maybe I'll check it out because I'm really I am really curious about it so might have to uh, check it out myself okay cool maybe I'll even try streaming it sometime I feel like doing that with most games I play it's like I feel like it's not a, not a waste exactly, but I feel like, oh, if I'm gonna play it, I might as well stream it just because I have just as much fun or even more fun streaming stuff and talking to people because I want to be talking all the time. <laughs> but uh, you go ahead, you go ahead and go play that. Um, yeah, if you feel like it, you just stop by again. Since I have, I do still have one hour and nine minutes left. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere for at least at least an hour. Yikes. Oh yeah, cool. That's, uh, that's nice. <laughs> that's cool. Thanks. Because otherwise, if no one's in the chat, I will be so bored. I'm kind of bored already since nothing's happening in the game I'm just surviving um, that's cool thank you <laughs> that's nice thank you <clears throat> it really helps this is basically just sitting and watching a fire it does look nice though but it's like this is my life now okay yeah. <laughs> Troll? Are the trolls? Yeah, of course. Why am I surprised? It sounds like sort of a futuristic sort of thing. Not not futuristic, but sort of a mix between like uh, a mix between sort of post-apocalyptic and fantasy stuff just like fallout basically is so i think i've only played fallout new vegas fallout 3 and fallout 4. i haven't i haven't i've never tried the old fallout games but i <laughs> wow encum encumbered again oh yeah cool but there are super mutants in Fallout, so I guess there must be trolls in Outer Worlds, or it makes sense at least, so it's not like, it's not a crazy notion. <sighs> yes. So this is so not interesting, this stream. Maybe I should start twerking, not that I can do it, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not the typical typical girl gamer with 
boobs in your face. I do have boobs, but they are well hidden. <laughs> I don't feel like bringing them out for a fucking stream. No. That's not what I do, but some people do. I wouldn't say I respect their choices, but I guess I tolerate it like you should. People who want to watch that stuff, fine. Go ahead and watch it, but at least then I know what you're after. If that's what you want to watch, cool. But let's face it, then you're not watching it for the game. You're watching it for, it's basically like porn. Only not, only not legitimate porn even. Like why wouldn't you even watch proper porn? You have to justify it somehow, just <laughs> watching a Twitch gamer with bouncing titties. It's like, no, I watch it for the content and the deep story. Yeah. No, you don't. But it's fine. Oops. But I'm not saying like everybody does that. You know, it's, it would be like me saying that I only watch bloggers and uh, that I'm only interested in uh, naked guys if I don't watch female bloggers or something like that but it's not that's not the case it's just like eh. the stereotype is there people and it's there for a reason it's like Ooh, we're still not done with this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I I don't know. I guess they make money doing it, so I guess it's fine. If I if I could make money, like showing my cleavage or maybe I would, but I can't because I don't have a cleavage. <laughs> my boobs are too small. Um but if even if I could make money, I don't think maybe I wouldn't but they do make money doing that and make a scene and I I even read an article or something about a girl who who did like squats or something and she would do squats every time she gained a follower or something or a subscriber or whatever and it was just like come on that was basically like whoring out for likes so who's the boob streamer you know Philip just curious. I can't I can't name anyone right now, but I'm sure it'll, it'll ring a bell, maybe. halfway almost yeah I've never I haven't updated my okay so let's look at the stats here Casey Tron no hell no my ex used to my ex used to really like uh, bully me with videos of her uh, because I hated her I still hate her. I'm not hate, that's a strong word, but I really dislike her content. You know, I know she trolls, I know that's what she does, uh, and she pretends to be mad, and she pretends to be upset about what people write in the chat. I know she trolls a lot of people, but she really plays off of sex as well. And so I don't, I don't respect that at all. And then she gets, <laughs> like, fake mad. Um, I hate her voice. That much I can say. Um, um, my ex, uh, my ex-boyfriend would occasionally put put on videos of her and saying like, "Oh, she's hilarious. I love her," uh, and then really just <laughs> really bug me. <laughs> um, yeah, so he would kind of just tease me with stuff about her, and yeah, I knew he was just messing around. Uh, But it was 
so it was so annoying but yeah Casey Tron she must be the worst um, and she has huge tits and I, I know she she knows her assets she knows uh, she knows where uh, her sort of strengths lie and that's 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 what she's using she's utilizing her her tits for her stream and I'm like sure why not why not it's like uh, if you can do that go ahead <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I will never do that, I think. I'll probably just... Uh, I guess I'll probably just um, keep making strange faces and noises. And, uh... Wait, does she smoke weed on her streams, too? Or... Because I've never seen her smoke on video, but it makes sense that she smokes weed. <laughs> really carving a fucking pumpkin, that is so Halloween. I know I'm playing a Halloween event right now, but seriously. <laughs> Everybody's doing these sort of holiday... Uh, <clears throat> holiday-esque things. Oh god, no! <laughs> Making a bong <laughs> out of a pumpkin. Okay, that's how, that actually sounds kind of funny. Yeah, that sounds kind of funny. Making a bong out of a pumpkin. Lol. But that also can be too much. Like if you're if you're coming across as if, if that's all you do, it's like. If you smoke a lot of weed on your streams, it's gonna be like... You're gonna seem just like you're a junkie or something. Yeah, you'll probably get tired of, uh, of, her, uh, of her content after a while. I can't imagine it being funny after too long. <laughs> yeah. I think most people who write in their chat are actually like trying to troll her or getting her to show her tits or something is like that's that's pretty basic stuff um, yeah uh, but um oh yes we are down to under an hour Oof. cool Can I fix something? Ooh! I just remember, I do have... I do have an achievement. To fill. I could probably do it right now. If I have all the things I need. I do have an achievement for... I don't know if it's... This. If it's regular clothing. Or if it's like animal skins. But I can try. The achievement of making all of your clothing items up to 100%. I've never made that achievement, I think, so... Might as well try it now, because... Why the hell not? If I have enough <laughs> cloth, that is. I might not have enough, but... Let's try. Yay! And having a longest, the longest burning fire would also be an achievement I'm making now. <gasps> Look at this! Do you see this? Oh no! What has happened? <laughs> Make it stop! Ah! Stop it! Still t okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. So, let's try this achievement. I am an achievement... Achievementaholic? No? Uh, I love collecting achievements. Even though I don't make all of them, it's like... If I know that I can make an achievement, it's... Yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a priority. So... 
It's uh, one of the things I love the most. But maybe this... Um, maybe this is a game mode that doesn't... Um, that doesn't uh, allow uh, achievements or getting achievements. I hope so, that I can do that. So let's um, let's try. I haven't made any any so far. So yeah, let's. Uh, I guess I don't have any achievements here to to see. Oh god. Nope. Where? Nope. That's not what I was supposed to do, but. Long dark. No, I want to see that. There we go. No? Achievements. There we go. View all achievements. Let's see. Hello. There we go. Okay, I guess this is where I was ending up anyways. Come on. Hello. I don't see anything. supposed to work but I guess it's choosing not to but okay yeah that's not gonna happen okay I guess we are I guess we're uh, just guessing at uh, I guess we're just guessing at uh, the achievements now I'm guessing what to do next So I'm thinking the fire thing is one, just having a fire going for three days, I think. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to be good on that. So that's going to happen. But yeah, if I can make it, but the one with the clothes, that is more unlikely, but I can try. I don't know how much cloth I have available. so. Oh, I do have a pillow to pull apart. I think. Up here? No? Pillow? Pillow. There we go. And another pillow. A pillow. Pillow, pillow, pillow. Where's the pillow? Give me pillow. No, okay. Oh, well. I want to do the repair like... I want to do all the repairs at once, so, like, so, uh, nothing loses condition on the way. <laughs> oh god, these are at 99. That is horrible. No. No, that is the worst. Okay, let's do this. Let's try. Probably not gonna make this, but... Oh, I do have an extra bedroll, don't I? Let's see. Or did I destroy that already? I might have. Hello! And another pillow! Wait, can I... No, I can't do that. Okay. Fine. Pillow? Pillow. No. No pillow. Fine. Carpet? Carpet? No. Okay. I guess this is it. Let's see if we can uh, do anything about this. So I guess I got something to do. So it's not totally uneventful. So. I don't know. I don't even know if I have enough to fix everything, but uh, yeah, I'm just doing it anyways.
I'm just hoping it'll fail. Oh man, I can't do the achievement. Just realized I can't fix uh, the moose hide cloak. But what if I drop it? So I only have like 100% stuff on me. I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try it because I don't know. I don't know what makes this stuff apply really. So. weird I'm just fixing stuff that doesn't need fixing but now I have nothing to lose so well I need a new I need a new sewing kit Can't afford to fail right now. Oh. Oh. Whoop, whoop. I'm almost there. I think. Does, does it have to be something equipped in every slot? Because then I'm... And I'm screwed. Not screwed, but, you know, then I won't make the achievement anyways. Let's just see what happens. Seriously? Come on! You can do it! Okay, so now I basically have 100% stuff in every slot besides this one. I can't prepare it, yeah. So, but... And I ripped apart a jacket that I could have fixed <laughs> to fill that slot. I actually did that. No... So I actually made it impossible for myself. Okay. Yeah, well. So I think I know what needs to be done. So since I don't have all the slots filled with 100% stuff, it can't be, uh, the achievement won't happen, or at least in this gameplay. So this. God, I actually dropped it. I wasn't. Can I make an improvised thing? Maybe? Improvised? No. Never mind. Yeah, alright. So, I guess that's that. So, I didn't make the. Didn't make that achievement. Ooh, my fire is almost out. I did not realize. Might have lost the. Might have lost the the bonfire achievement, but I, I think it's three days or something. So let's see if, if we can make it happen. Okay, forty-six minutes left. It's not that much. It feels like a lot though. Not 
sure I can carry much more. Uh. Hmm, I do have a lot of cloths left though. I could check it to see if I can find any other pieces of clothing here. Like maybe maybe I've missed something. Nothing there. Empty. Maybe I missed like a piece of clothing that I would, wasn't interested in. Oh, this was a great opportunity to make that achievement, but I guess it wasn't going to happen. Man. And I'm not going outside to find a jacket. I really am not doing that. Do I have any more books to read? Oops. Yes, I do. Even though I don't have a bow and arrow, so I guess that's useless. There's not really that much to do right now, <laughs> as it has been for the past hour. <gasps> oh, man. <sighs> it is very warm in here. I think we're good. Okay, there's the window, so the cupboard is down here somewhere. Oh, my lamp table. Fucking. Mmm, I didn't want to have to do this. I guess. Thank you. Oh, wow, it was just there. Come on. Might as well keep this close at hand. Even though I'm not. I'm not starving to death. Exactly. I can drop these. Don't need those. I can drop the flashlight. I can use that. The ammunition. I'm just gonna see how far down I can get everything. I can even put down the bedroll. Yeah. The pry bar. I'm not going anywhere. Put down the knife. Put down the knife!
Yay! Oh, why? What? Oh, it's because of the candy bars and the wood and everything, yeah. Oh god. I'm just counting the minutes. Really. not a good time to be doing this but oh well eh. Oh, sorry. Just uh, fell out a bit for the for a little bit there. Yeah, I know I'm still streaming, but you know. Lol. Sorry about it. <laughs> this is more boring for me than it is for you. Trust me. I'm basically stuck doing this. <laughs>
Okay. Let's see. <sighs> whoop whoop. Are we still? Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Everyone's free to leave? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. People people can stay or join if they want to. I'm just uh, just biding my time. Just like uh, if, if no one... Uh, I don't know how to... I feel like I've spent all my topics of discussion. But still, yeah, I was talking about movies earlier. I really want to know like any good movies or TV shows to watch right now. I want to see some new stuff. So I was thinking about that. If, um, if anyone had any suggestions. Uh, and it could be any genre, actually. I love, like, I appreciate most movie genres. So it doesn't have to be old stuff, really. So how old are we talking? Like, do you consider movies from the 80s to be old, or do you watch like movies from the 50s and 60s? Or do you watch like silent movies from the 30s? That would be <laughs> that would be even better. That would be funny. Eh, I need some more water. Might as well do something about that. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing you you're one of uh you're the kind of person who uh who enjoyed Citizen Kane, right? Cuz I fell asleep during that movie. I couldn't watch all of it. And it's a classic, I know that it is, but yeah. Comedy series is yeah, one of my favorites too. I don't know what else like old stuff. Oh yeah, Citizen Kane is it's like it's um it's one of those classics. Everybody tells you to watch it, but it's super boring. Or in my opinion it is. Uh I I found it so boring. We wa we watched it on when I was in high school, I think. We watched it in class and I fell asleep like several times. It was so boring. But but maybe I would have found it more interesting now. Twelve angry men. You know what? They were just showing. That's that's really um, that's a coincidence. Uh, a friend of mine asked if I want to go watch it with her. Uh, in this, it was like a student <gasps> achievement unlocked. What pacifist? What does that mean? Survive the first twenty-five days without killing anything. I didn't though. I killed seven wolves so not strictly a pacifist though but then I guess I w it was in self-defense so yeah so a friend of mine wanted to watch 12 angry men the other day I couldn't come I think I was doing something else uh, but yeah the game is so broken but I guess maybe maybe it's Maybe it sort of arranges killing something as you have to attack it first, maybe? Because I didn't I didn't shoot any of the wolves. I just I acted in self-defense. So maybe that's different. And they died after a period of time. I didn't kill them. So yes, I did kill them eventually, but I think maybe that's that's why I got the achievement. I don't know. That's just my guess. I don't know. Maybe. Oh well. This is so boring. My god, I just fixed these things. <laughs> They're down like 1 and 2%. It's not... It's nothing. I apologize for nothing. Oh man, this is 
This movie is so slow. Let's go outside again. Watch the storm. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's chase that thrill. Whoop. Whoop. What thrill? Uh, what? Let's just watch. Watch the cabin from afar. This is where I live. Now I want to watch watch everything get colder. Slaked? Is that the expression? Like when you when you're, you're not thirsty anymore. It's slaked. That is weird. Uh -huh, nope. Feels like... Feels like freezing! The air temperature is just minus 24 degrees. This is... This is ridiculous. What? What expression was that? Slaked. Yeah, so... We don't have an expression for that in Norwegian either. It's like either you're thirsty or you're... No, you know what? It's sort of like when we say... You would say, um... To quench your thirst, we would say in Norwegian, a slukke tørsten. So you would... It's be, like directly directly translated it's to extinguish your thirst <laughs> sort of pour water over the fire um, that is extinguishing extinguishing uh, thirst but I guess you, you can't say that so but slukke slukke törsten that's Norwegian for quenching quenching your thirst den durst still yeah yeah this, we have the same we have basically the same. So, yeah, just basically making the thirst go away. So we don't have, we don't, don't have one word for being quenched. <laughs> we don't have a word for being like, for being like um, <clears throat> satisfied with thirst or to satisfy your thirst. I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. Slaked, fucking slaked and rested and full to quench the thirst. Then dost still. God, I'm still working on my pronunciations. I, I actually, yeah, I had, I had German for five years in school, and I never nailed the grammar. It was so, it was so difficult. So many, so many ways to, to twist and turn the words around. It was like, what? Really? Because the pronunciation is very similar to, uh, to Norwegian, luckily. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Really difficult. I struggled, I struggled with it a lot, actually, when I was in school. Um, but the, the pronunciations were probably the easiest part because we have so many similar words and similar tone I guess of speaking so um, oh, oops I guess they derive from I don't think they der derive from the same branch of languages but I think they they come from a very similar place so But then again, I know all about difficult languages. Teaching, uh, like learning Norwegian is probably also <clears throat> one of the most difficult languages. Or so I've heard because we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of grammar rules that don't make sense. And then a lot of exceptions to those rules. Um, uh, yeah just basically a load of nonsense 
just a lot of nonsense for for all the grammar rules. Let's see. Beep, beep, boop, up. Yeah, so again, I was checking my messages. Sorry. But, yeah. It's ending the near, though, guys. Hey, yo. I've been talking nonsense for an hour and a half already. Wow. This has been the least eventful... The least eventful stream I've ever had, I think. So, what, what language... What language would you... Um, would you learn if you knew... Uh, if you... If you could, I mean. If you could learn it, like that if you could choose a language to learn which would it be I think mine would be either Japanese or French but I'm already trying to learn French so I guess Japanese I love that language but it's um yes yeah, difficult to choose because there are so many cool languages out there mmm so, but I guess it's like a very intricate um, writing language, Japanese. It's, I think it's very hard to learn. Yeah, I do. I do really enjoy like the strides they've made both technologically and uh, socially because their culture is way different from ours. Like especially, but I guess they have differences. Uh, they have differences uh, between uh, the urban and the rural parts, of course, as every country does. But uh, but at least in the big cities, they have such a massive diversity of stuff you can do, stuff you can see, and even fashion is so diverse in in Japan. Um, I think it's so cool. And of course they have different dialects as well. That is also a very interesting thing because like I think Norwegian is actually one of the most complicated uh, languages for dialects because we have so vastly different dialects depending on where you come from in the country. So people from people from the south part of the country uh, sometimes I have a hard time understanding people from the north, for example, and west and east and just every part is like totally different. And then people have what's, what's usually like a topic of discussion between uh, young people, at least, is discussing the most annoying, like what, what, which dialect do you find the most annoying and which dialect do you find the sexiest? And we normally have like very different opinions on it. So especially for me, I hate, I do not like the Southern dialect. That's very close to Denmark. The, the Southern tip of, uh, of Norway is really, is so much like Danish and it just sounds like flowers and butterflies coming out of their mouths. You can't take them seriously. Uh, and it sounds so forced. It sounds like they're trying to make their language all dainty and cute and stuff. I hate it. Um, and then there's... Hmm, what should we call it? The people from... It's like the middle part. Not the middle part of the country, but the beginning of the northern part. From... People who are from Trondheim, for example, it's like a big study city. 
Like people, a lot of people move there just to study. So it's it's known for its uh, schools and universities. Um, and that's where that is probably the worst dialect I know of. It's, uh, they, yeah, they talk so, they talk so weird. It is like the most, it's like the, mm, it's not exactly the hillbilly version of, um, of Norwegian because that would probably be like in the, the farm, farming areas of the east part of the country. That's where they, they, like every Disney movie that has like hillbillies, uh, featuring hillbillies, it will, it will be voiced by people from those parts in Norway, always. It's like the eastern, um, sort of, <laughs> sort of hillbilly way of talking, like farm boys. Uh, it is so funny, but that's really typical though. Um, what else? My grandfather is actually from the north. I'm babbling now because no one is writing in the chat, so. Um, my grandfather is actually from the north of Norway. Like, pretty far north from Svolvar. No, he's not from Svolvar, but a place, a tiny place. Just, I think, an hour out of Sol outside of Svolvar. In uh, Lofoten. Uh... Yeah, so it's basically like sea and cold weather in mountains, like a lot of them. It's, it's beautiful. It's a really beautiful country, country life up there. And that's, that is, uh, they have a, like this great thick, thick dialect. So, and that's really, they have a really bold and harsh way of talking. They almost always include like a curse word in every sentence. <laughs> and uh, up there it's actually, uh, I read somewhere, I don't know if it's actually true, but I read somewhere that if you curse at a policeman or a police officer anywhere else in the country, you will get fined uh, for like uh, disrespecting the law or like a police officer or something like that, or uh, verbal, verbal assault or something. But. If you are in the north, you are excused for using foul language at the police officer because that's just the way they talk. So it's completely different. <laughs> I, I know that that might be just a rumor or yeah, I've, um, I think that that's something I both read and both heard someone say that the way people talk in the north is really like, it's so harsh and they, they curse all the time. Uh, and they have these weird curse words that I've never heard before. Um, but luckily, my grandfather, he moved to my hometown, like, really, really long ago. Uh, so he's kind of adapted his dialect very much. He's lost a lot of his uh, northern speech. Uh, not, that it, not that that's a good thing, because I would have loved to hear some, some of his uh, rough speech, to be quite honest. But... I guess when we were small, when me and my siblings were small, it might might have been more fitting that he kind of adapted to our softer way of talking. But my uh, dialect is actually really generic, sort of, for the West. Yes, I am from the West. Uh, I don't know if I... Uh... Yeah, sometimes it comes back. I um yeah I come from the west like in the middle of the west so it's very generic <laughs> Yeah Yeah I think so too So the west and the east mm big difference. The West is, I guess, no, how do I explain it? It's kind of rivalry, maybe, but at the same time, it's not founded in anything logical. Uh, 
Now we always try to imitate each other, but... Yeah. What do you mean? Like the Halloween tradition? Oh, really? So, uh... Oh, yeah, that's... That is so true. I think, uh... I think, uh... When it comes to, like... Especially old traditions, kids tend to care less. Hmm. Yeah, so... In Germany, you have that, like, weird... No, that's not, that's not the same thing. I was thinking about the weird Christmas tradition uh, with St. Nicholas and... Uh, no, that's not German. That's from... That's from Holland, I think. From Netherlands, right? Like the Schwarze... Schwarze Peter? No? Sh like Black Peter. Oh, no. <laughs> Sankt... Martin. Okay. <laughs> Around Halloween time. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's like it's like the same way with uh Yeah, it's like the same way with traditions in Norway as well. The kids only like the scariest parts. They only like the the new and trendy parts of it like dressing up everybody likes to dress up so of course that sticks but the sort of more the sort of more boring and traditional stuff it kind of fades away I guess so um, like doing stuff like they used to in the old days it's not gonna happen uh, that much anymore but yeah Så sitter man här då, ja. Ser på flammorna. Ser in i ovnen, väntar på att det ska bli dag. Nej, det blir det ju aldrig, men... Just spicing things up a bit. With my Norwegian, not that it's spicy at all. It's actually quite boring. If I talk Norwegian on a stream, I feel like feel like killing myself. <laughs> okay, which is, uh Ooh. Seriously? That sounds like the... That sounds like really like cozy and pleasant thing to do. That sounds really nice. Who wouldn't do that? I mean, who wouldn't like put that on and have it in the background? Just having something to listen to. That sounds really nice. That sounds so cool. That's a good concept though. But did he actually... He started... He would start the long dark and then he would sit in the background and read a book or would he film himself reading the book and sort of being like it sounds really good though I would totally watch that or listen to it yeah it would be so cozy though that would be so... It's so wholesome. Man. But I probably would never have the... The sort of patience to do that. I might do that sometime though. Like, just reading a book. Yeah. And having like a game running in the background or something. Why not? 
But then it, I w it would have to be a pre-recorded gameplay, I think. So it wouldn't have to be like... Um, so it wouldn't have to be like me trying to make the fire stay or... yeah. We are almost out, people. Nine minutes. We're almost out of this hellhole. Woo. Okay. Yeah. So we um, we actually had a live fire in the game. That's um. But then you have to make sure that it's that it's uh, well lit, I guess. But I'm not saying I'm not saying it couldn't have been live. I'm just saying uh, it would be kind of distracting. I think if I was to like if I was trying to do it like myself, uh, if I was trying to like read a book, I would be kind of distracted because I would try to. Oh, I have to uh, refuel the fire, and I need to make sure the game doesn't you know that it wouldn't end you know, or that my character didn't die because. If you're reading for a couple of hours, that will happen, I guess. But, um... That would be so cool, though. Yeah, drink something, eat something, and you would have to fill all your needs and... But maybe it was live, I don't know. It sounds really cool, though. So... Why not? Yeah. I'm just counting down the minutes now. Oh my god. I just checked like just a minute ago. <sighs> no, I don't think you're easy to deceive. I, I myself wouldn't have thought about it either, but I'm just thinking for the practical part of it since uh, uh, since I know how distracting it can be to do other stuff while streaming. It can be really distracting. Like yeah. <sighs> if I'm playing something live, I I want to be focused, you know. But at the same time, this stream hasn't been that focused <laughs> since it's been really the same thing over and over again. But I totally forgot. I do still have to make the achievement. How far have I gotten? The longest what is it now fire started longest burning fire hours three days how much is three days for hours isn't it 72 I should have made it or well, maybe it's outside <laughs> lol don't talk yourself down like that no I want to check the achievements again, just to make sure. View all achievements. Come on! Why? Why is there nothing here? This usually works, so I don't know why it's working. Why it's not working now. Nothing. Hello! Okay. I want to I want to look at my achievements. Okay, you know what? I might as well do it like that. Nope. <laughs> that's not what I was supposed to do. Still have the game up and running though. Store page. No, achievements. There we go. So we have to do it the hard way. Fine. Nope. That's not it. Locked achievements. I know the fire thing is going to be here. It should be. No? No, this is the one I've, I've made already. Keep a camp campfire burning for three days. No, it's a campfire, of course. That's the difference. 
Okay, so I misunderstood. This isn't a campfire. This is the stove burning, so... Oh, five minutes left. Are you ready? Because when that five minute mark hits zero, I'm out of here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited to make this event. I'm excited to be done with it, <laughs> too, to be quite honest. Um, I'm almost there. Almost there. Fuck yes. Yes! So in just like five minutes, I'm done. Done! Let's just see. God, this, these two hours have gone by so slowly, <laughs> but it really did help to have you, uh, to have you in the chat, Philip. It really did. Um, someone to talk to, and uh, so I'm not just rambling to myself. Even though that's normally something I would have no trouble doing, but getting response is actually good, you know. Getting answers. And not just from the voices in my head. No. No. I didn't say that. No, I'm not schizophrenic. I'm just kidding. minutes. Uh, get it together. It's, we're almost there. I think I could still make it like for a few more hours because I have a lot of firework left. Firework. Firewood, I mean. Damn it. So much stuff. Didn't need all this stuff. I could have been out exploring more, like being more free. But no, I was collecting too much but yeah I wanted to be safe though I'm probably gonna <laughs> fireworks inside no don't fire don't fire up the rockets inside that would be hilarious though if there were fireworks in this game just like put it in the oven <laughs> would explode the whole cabin yeah that would be uh, that would be funny two minutes who who uh. Okay. I'm sorry. So ready to end this. Ah, thank you so much. Um, thanks for sticking with me. It was this was too slow. Fucking hours, man. Um, yeah. I'm I'm gonna be looking forward to playing the story again the um, episode three so uh, yes we're almost done almost there come on make it happen uh, come on one minute day four four days of night Oh yeah, the hardened, uh, hardened, um, what's it called? Yeah, you know what? Episode 2 was really hard. I, I struggled, I struggled with it for quite a bit. Like for a long time. I had a really, I had a really hard time figuring out what to do with the bear and yeah, the whole th spare thing and yeah, that was horrible. But yeah. Oh, come on, make it happen. Come on. 
come on. It's supposed to be done now, but it's taking longer because I'm waiting, right? Because it feels like I've waited forever. Okay. Ah! <laughs> my heart! My heart just stopped! Oh my god. <laughs> it's like waiting for the toaster. It's like, oh, when the bread comes jumping out. Oh god, every time. <laughs> Fucking. No. Sorry about the screaming, though. Ooh. <laughs> it actually scared me. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So. Oh man. Yes, thank you so much for watching and supporting me through this difficult time. Um, I tune in for everything I'm doing, uh, like in the future because it's gonna be there's gonna be more. And um, of course, thank you so much for your support, Philip. You in general. Um, so, good luck on episode two. I'm rooting for you. Um, and uh, I guess I will see you later, probably. <laughs> so, uh, bye.